Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Nicole from The Living Well. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We just wanted to pop on here really quickly and talk to you about manifestation. There's a lot of controversial information out there about whether or not you can magically imagine things into existence. I would like to imagine myself 40 pounds lighter. <laughs> Oh, like I, I would too at this point, honestly. <laughs> and then it was not kind to me. I lived in a hotel like for $40. dollars Messed up my habits. I'd like a Maserati in the parking lot, you know, per convertible, preferably. <laughs> yeah, so anyways. Would, would, would that come with the payment that you have to make? Would, there would you, you go. Have to Very good <laughs> question. <laughs> so... So what we were talking about how there is some concepts um, that something is happening when you're thinking about um, what your goals are and reaching your goals. People do, you know, reach their goals and make things happen for themselves. And they are using some concepts that seem to be all organically combined. So we were just going to talk about what our personal opinion is about that topic. So for me, uh, I believe what you reap, you sow. That's exactly what the Bible teaches. If you're focused on an objective and you work at it and you're focused on it and giving it the attention it deserves, then you will um, develop what you need to get there. And it does come out, come to fruition. What do you guys think? Yeah. I'll let you go first. This is Amy Aaron. So I wasn't sure. <laughs> Are you going to put our names in there? Um, Hi, I'm Amy Aarons. I'm a holistic wellness advisor, and I believe manifestation all starts with figuring out what you want. What do you want for your life? What do you see coming into fruition? And really being specific and writing it down. And once you put it out there, just read it every day and just keep on putting it into life. Like envision it and kind of just make it happen. Mm -hmm. I'm John Robinson and I'm a life coach and consultant with Pathways Personal and Professional Development. And, uh, you know, what, I think manifestation is a complicated topic that people talk about today. And I think that there's a lot of truth to it, as well as a lot of people who twist the truth in a way that makes it sound like, you know, very, it's, it's wishful thinking basic and maybe almost magical thinking i like to distinguish between the difference between magical thinking and spiritual thinking in some ways to me magical thinking is kind of like wishful and dreamy and spiritual thinking is more you know like like the cole said reaping what you sow it involves some input and and you put in what and you get out what you put into it so there are several you know holy scriptures you know that's, and i'll just use one of them in the bhagavad gita there's a there's a um there's a quote by krishna where he says a man a man's faith is according to his own nature as a man believes so he is so i think that really well describes the concept of manifestation and there's similar um verses in the bible what there's that are along the lines of you repo iso but there's also a verse in romans that is even more similar to the verse i just quoted from the gita there's stuff in the baha'i writings as well and to me what manifestation is it's like like amy said she amy talked about envisioning when we envision something as a reality we have a tendency to act accordingly to our vision of, of reality in that sense. So let's say that I think something really bad is going to happen. My anxiety is going to cause me to act accordingly to that perception of reality that something bad is going to happen. And perhaps I will manifest that bad thing to happen because I will start to act like that's going to happen and create a self-fulfilling prophecy. We can do that in a positive way though as well, where if we really want something like, for instance, I recently started my own business after leaving my day job. And I've been having some success in terms of growth and getting leads and things like that. That's how I got connected to Nicole and Amy and the living well. And, you know, that that's one of the ways that I got connected to that because I envisioned my success. I envisioned my success. Now I didn't envision my success and it just magically appeared. I envisioned my success and that motivated me to accomplish the things that I need to do to start taking steps towards it. It doesn't guarantee a hundred percent full proof that the bad thing or the good thing that we manifest or that we believe will happen in terms of our conception or perception of reality. What it does do is it allows us to create a vision for ourselves of which we can achieve rather than just dreaming or wishing something that we want and not ha having to put in the effort that we want to get it. Totally. Yeah, it's about yeah, you're pursuing it. Right. Mm -hmm. 
exactly it's about the pursuing right and the working at it everybody you look at look at um disney i watched that documentary and he mm-hmm. worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and making that his reality and it did come to fruition but he put a lot of energy and time into it and effort so this mm-hmm. idea that we could just sit back and go maserati maserati right. is impossible right but we that's could... quite a mo- <laughs> <laughs> i just picked that out That's of nowhere right. but <laughs> i think that we well ultimately what we really want we do get I and mean, i think that's mm-hmm. true for most people if you really most people don't end up reaching their goals because they really don't want it that bad for example mm-hmm. if you want to lose weight you know what to do mm-hmm. but it's how bad do you really want it are you willing to do what it takes to make that true or not it's up to you mm-hmm. Be I'll, ready to make a change. Mm-hmm. I'll give you guys an example of that where where I almost like over manifested in a way where it was like <laughs> the, the first training session I had back at the gym because over the course of the pan since August or really since December I put on a lot of weight and I was in good shape for a number of years and uh, you know so when I went back into the gym in this personal training session my body is still used to being able to do all these things like so it's like oh yeah, I got this. And like, I worked myself pretty hard. And then at the end of it, like the second, and I felt pretty good while I was doing everything. Like I was put, I was pushing, you know, the sled, I was, you know, doing the TRX. I was, um, I was doing a bunch of stuff. And the second I sat down to come up with like, you know, a more long-term plan, I started to feel sick and I had to go outside and I just completely lost my breakfast all over the place. So (laughs) what were you manifesting then? (laughs) (laughs) I think the second that I started to feel sick, actually, you know, what's funny. The guy who said something to me said something about like, you know, like, oh, you know, if you need to cancel, if you're sick. And the second he said the word sick, I felt I, that's when I started to feel sick, which oh. was really weird now that I think about it. <laughs> mm, interesting. So I think the point that we want to like really get across to our our listener is you pursue pursue your dreams and your goals Mm -hmm. go after it why not you only have one life you should live it hard make it count why should you sit back and not get what you want out of your your needs matter your wants matter you should pursue but only you are the one that's going to make that happen for you so Mm -hmm. if you're in a toxic relationship and what you really want is a healthy one then you're going to have to keep working at it and keep thinking about it and keep focusing on that, like a garden, what you feed it when you, when you pursue mm-hmm. growth and what you, what you ignore and neglect starts to die. And I know I've killed many, many plants in my life. <laughs> and that's because I got distracted and I was off putting my energy and my focus into something else. So if what you really want is a healthy relationship and pursue it, do the work dig into it, learn about it and go after it and you'll get it. Right. Mm-hmm. Focus right. and keep going. Don't give up. Focus and go, yep. go get it. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you guys for joining me and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you.